Hi, friends. Okay, we are, are in the peak season for One Act Play and everything. We're doing a lot here at Unit Sets Unlimited, and it's a wrap by Terry. But let me tell you, this video is for Tana Howard at Sands, and she bought some wraps from me, some, some flat wraps a year or so ago. Anyway, it was the ones that wrapped around, and she's like, I can't figure out how to do this. I've got some beautiful fabric, but it won't go. And I'm like, no, girl. Okay, um, this is not what we're going to do now because now that was an old style. It was, not a, it was not a very effective design. Now there's a design that is wonderful, and I'm going to teach you how to build a flat wrap. And this is for Tana, but I'm going to share it with you too. Okay, first of all, it, for a bifold uh, flat, you can find fabric that's wide enough. You need at least 56 inches. Here, we have decided to do 58 now that there's not a fabric allotment, and we just wanna make sure that it wraps enough. But, but for a bifold, I think the, the uh, widest material you're gonna be able to get is 56, so that's good. Okay, now let me tell you what we have first. Um, the, the tools you're gonna to need to build your wrap. You're gonna need a T-square. This is very important. Get a big one. Don't get the little one. Get the big one if you're going to do uh, wraps. It's very important that you square your material. Okay, get a good pair of scissors. Go to Walmart or whatever, but get the Fiskars or whatever. They're good. Okay, I need for you to buy this. This is the best stuff ever. Gorilla construction adhesive. You're going to need this, okay? Now, let me tell you what I do first, okay? Um, so that you, you, you'll... Okay, the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to want to square your, your fabric. And so what I'm looking at is I'm going to call this selvage edge right here straight. Now, I want to cut off, see how that's wrinkled right there? So what we're doing is I'm cutting both sides and I can barely get... Uh, 58 inches, you're gonna probably just get 56. Okay, but what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna square that up right there and I'm just gonna cut off and I'm gonna make that square, okay? Right there. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark here, I'm gonna mark here, okay? On both sides, make sure that's squared. Then I'm gonna move that down and do the same thing all the way down my fabric, okay? This is the most important thing. As this is here and it's marked, I'm gonna mark right here. That's gonna make that top part square. If you don't do that, um, I didn't do it on one of these, I don't know, I just guess I counted that as square. It was not and I had to start all over, it made me mad. Okay, so I'm gonna do that and come back. Okay, so when you take this off, you can see what I've done is I've gone along there. And so I have made that square right there. Now that's my line that's square up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this along that line. I'm gonna, and that, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna call that straight two with this other line. So I'm gonna go do that and I'm gonna mark on both sides of that thing. Okay, before I go any further, okay, cause I'm gonna do the other side, but I wanna talk a little bit about fabric. And, um, okay, what I've got here is a 10 ounce ducking fabric and I have painted the other side um, that sizes it. If you have a fabric that you're gonna paint, make sure that you size it before you make it because it will shrink. You don't have enough, and if you do these measurements and then you paint it, it you may, may not have enough wrap. You need at least uh, three inches on each side, so 56, uh, 55, maybe you can get by with that. Okay, an upholstery fabric, get a good weight. Don't make a lightweight if you're making wraps. If you're if it's a lightweight, put it on another wrap, okay? Um, but the stuff that I'm doing is really good for painting. Yay, but there's a bunch of material out there that's like really beautiful. If you want a trifold, you're nearly gonna have to sew the uh, pieces together. And if you can find a pattern that you can do that, get a seamstress, 
get something and I think it will work. I think it will do just fine and I'll give you the measurements for a trifold. You do it just like this. Once you figure out this, then it's going to work. But number one, paint your fabric first. Okay, that size it and it makes it a pretty weight and it makes it something pretty to work with. Okay, now what I've done is, you know, on that other side there, I went ahead and drew my line, both sides of it. Now here, I've done the same. I just followed that straight line down here to the other end. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tape measure. I'm going to go over from that, that side, hook it, come down here, and I'm going to measure 58 inches. You will probably only get 56, but it's okay. I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, now, so I have done that on this side, and that is exactly 50 eight inches across. Now I'm going to go down to the other end and I'm going to take my little trusty little um, tape measure and I'm going to measure 102 inches and it should at that point be square. I'm going to, I'm going to mark both sides of this little square thing. Okay. Okay, so now I have a completely square um, piece of fabric. The dimensions are 58, yours is probably gonna be 56, by 102. The 102 gives you six inches of wrap. Really, it's uh, five over the top, four over the top, and one hem at the bottom. Okay, now, here's what I do next. I take my trusty little caulk gun. I go in and I put a bead of caulk. This is kind of hard to do it with the camera, but ooh, baby. Okay, anyway, put my little bead of caulk here. I'm gonna go do it when I don't have a camera in my hand. Then what I'm gonna do is go in and, and fold it over, okay? I'm gonna do that all the way around there, okay? I'm gonna do that right quick and I'll come back. Okay, I forgot to tell you, cut off that corner on each corner. Um, it will save it from bunching if you just cut from line to line before you caulk. Okay, uh, let me tell you a little bit about this, uh, this Gorilla construction adhesive, this caulk and everything. It is amazing. It tacks instantly, it, uh, and which nothing I've ever seen does that. It, 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 but you don't want to, uh, it makes a mess and it's hard to come off. Okay, it takes 24 hours to completely dry. I put it as close as I can to the, the line, but I don't go over the line. I don't want to have a mess on the other side of the line. Um, you don't have to have it real thick, um, but you need enough to wear it, uh, it depends on the thickness of your fabric, okay? Now, mine's pretty thick, so that's kind of thick there. Okay, now after you do all of the, um, the edges, what you've just done there is you've made a seam that you're going to grommet, and it's going to make it very solid and easy to work with. Okay, only measure after you have done your seams, okay? So what we're going to do is from here, here, we're going to measure 10 inches and we're going to mark it. Then we're going to measure 28 in the middle and I'm going to mark it. Then I'm going to go to the other side and I'm going to measure 10 and 28. It should be, the 28 should be the middle section. That should be the middle mark. Okay, you can see 10 inches and here's the middle mark. I made a line five inches deep. We're going to cut that. That's going to be where the fold of the bifold goes, okay? And then here's another 10 inches. Now, this 10 inches is going to, your bungee's going to catch on that. And, uh, and then I'm measuring these grommets to my bungees. But you can use any size bungee here. You'll just have to add the grommets to where they go, okay? So I'm, I'm going to do what is mine. Uh, now I'm going to go up this other side, both of them, and I'm going to measure down 14 inches, and then I'm going to measure 48, and there's going to be another line at 48, and then I'm going to go from that in, I'm going to measure up 8. So when you get it all done, there's only going to be four bungees that will hold this together. It'll go from that point to the 14, 
from the other point to the 14, and then you'll bungee across the middle and the bottom. It's a pretty good design. So here's what we're going to do is we're going to cut off this little uh, deal over here so it won't bunch when you get it on. Okay, now for you guys, you're going to put that little square on the end there, and you're going to go up five inches right here, and you're going to mark it, and you're going to cut it off. For me, because I've got 58, I'm going to go to the inside of that. I'm going to do the same thing, and then I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to do that and then come back. Okay, now I have grommeted, and there's very few grommets in this, as you can see, and I've already given you the dimensions. Okay, I have cut out this little deal. This is a three by five for me because I've got it 58 wide. You're going to have it 56, so it'll be a two, two by five, and cut it out because what's going to happen, you're going to pull this, can you see that, over your flat, this is going to go under around your flat like that. Now, what's going to happen is on both sides that that little bungee is going to go here. That flaps over, under, that flaps over. It's very pretty. Now, what's going to happen here is that we're going to tie paracord and then we're going to bungee to the other side. Let me t show you how to tie that paracord. It's very simple. Make a loop put it through, anyway, and then pull it back through it. Pull that back through. And that gives you something that will stay. Then you will adjust it with it and make a loop over here to the tension that you need after it's on your uh, flat. Okay, so that's a wrap, guys. And what started out being so stinking hard, now it's become very simple. And I want it to be simple for you because everything that you do, they're, ad, they're, they're lifting the rules and it becomes harder. But anyway, I hope this, wor this works for you. You have a blessed one-act play season. Hope you have lots of laughter and lots of fun. Bye.